Hello guys and welcome to the sixth part of the MVVM tutorial series. As I said in the last part, we will implement in this part the dependency injection with Codeine because as I said, instantiating your objects inside of your activity class is a very bad practice. You shouldn't do that in bigger projects. And now I'm going to show you what you can do to avoid that. For that, we will create a new class which is called an application class inside of our main package. We right click new Kotlin file class, select class and I'm going to call it shopping application. That class will inherit from application and it will implement the Codeine aware interface. So because we implemented the interface, we have to add the corresponding methods for that. So we press Control I and press OK. I'm going to remove that get block and instead write equals codein.lazy. That lazy basically means that inside of that block we can use the application context during binding time because we need that for our shopping database which takes the context as a parameter. So inside that we write import Android X module and pass in this at shopping application. After that we write bind from singleton. We have to import bind. Press alt enter and make sure you select the bind with Kotlin Annie. Bind from singleton which we also have to import. Also make sure to select the first one and inside of that we will instantiate our shopping database and as a parameter we simply write instance which we also have to import here. When we pass instance here as a parameter then Codeon will automatically look if there is any object in this class that fits uh, fits for this parameter. So because we use the lazy property here, we can use the application context in here and then instance will automatically recognize that the application context fits into this parameter. Android Studio throws me an error here, which has something to do with my JVM version. If you don't have this error, you can simply skip what I will do now. But if you have this error, you have to do the same as I do now. So for that, we have to go under our build.gradle file. And after that build types block, we write compile options. And inside that, source compatibility is equal to 1.8. And target compatibility is also equal to 1.8. And after that, we have to write Kotlin options and write JVM target is equal to 1.8. Then we click on sync now. And after that, the error is gone. Next, we will instantiate our shopping repository in here. So we find again, find from singleton. And inside that, we create our shopping repository, which now takes our database. So we can write instance again, because that will look if we already instantiated our database, which we did here. And because it's a singleton, so we only have one database, it's clear that this database will be inserted here. Finally, we are going to instantiate our uh, view model factory. For that we write bind from this time it's provider because we want to use that instance in our shopping activity. 
and we have to no we don't have to import that it's already import oh now we can import that make sure it's the first one again and inside of that block we write shopping view model factory which takes our repository so we can write instance again because oops because we already instantiated our repository here now we switch back to our activity class again go under ui.shopping list and shopping activity and in that we also have to implement the code in array interface and then we will write override well codein by codein and for that codein that does not want to be automatically imported um, we have to simply write import org.codein.di.android.codein and the error is gone after that we write private val factory for our view model factory which is a shopping view model factory and we write by instance so and we have to import that so that instance refers to our codein and it, it is this instance which we instantiated here now we can delete all that stuff and we have to add our just created shopping application class to our manifest so we go on our manifest and first of all I want to remove that warning so now we go under our application tag and we have to write name and then pass in our shopping application here so now that should work so we can start our app and as you see it just works fine we can add an item here let's say apples 12 add we can modify the amount we can delete it so so yeah that's it for this tutorial series i hope you learned a lot about mvvm that was just a very basic project but i will make a bigger project with mvvm in the future on this channel so stay tuned and have a good day